Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Kiwi Joe Customs and Collections. And today I'm going to look at repairing this swap measure. And as you can see, this axle point here is broken off. And I want to make sure I can put it on there and rotate it. I could just glue it on, but I don't want to do that. Also, the fact that the roll bar is missing from here. And if you can see inside there, there is a control stick that's broken off. I'm looking for repairing that. So, and how do I know that the roll bar is, is missing? Well, I have another swap measure with the self same roll bar, and I'll try and do the same with this, this sort of style. Uh, and unfortunately with this, I've already glued this as one of my previous repairs, but I believe, I didn't film it, and I believe I can actually get this going so it actually rotates. So without further ado, let's see what we can do. Okay, let's have a proper look. Uh, what we need to do here okay so you can see that this clip here is, is hatched and that is snapped off looks, looks like someone's trying to glue it on or try to glue it back on and it hasn't really worked um i could possibly glue it on glue that on there and it'll work uh, perfectly fine but i want to rotate and also another thing i need to do is the roll bar at the back and that control panel right there or control stick is broken off so let's see what we can do okay I think I'm gonna grab one of these missiles that is from the Jojo spring loaded gimmicks and what I might do is chop that to size Using my trusty ruler here. This looks like it's sitting about five mil. If you can see. And this here. It's sitting a little bit above five mils. So I also need to crop that off here. Now I could actually split that, but I kind of want to put a line in the center. Okay, I'm going to move this to one side, and I'm going to be using this Aceto rotary tool with the blade here. And I'm going to look at sort of slicing it right down in the center, hopefully. So in reality, when I put that in there and put a, right, split that open a bit, it should work. Actually, now what I'll do, I'll slice it off, off, off here and reattach it. And it's coming off already anyway. So that could work out just well. Okay, so off camera, I sliced this completely, if you can see that. So it's that was the edge of the missile. And then once again off camera, I sort of sand into there. So my goal here, or my aim, is basically with a paper clip, and super glue put a, a joint in here so once again I'm using the 
Irwin's draw at 1.0 millimeters, but doesn't it doesn't have to be Irwin's, it could be just by any draw, but that you can find in that size. And I'm using this smaller rotary tool. So what I'll do is I'll it's gone all the way through. And I want to put another one right here. And a rough guess where I was going to be. Now that would have freaked out a few peoples. <laughs> So don't worry, I've done this plenty of times, and you could say I'm almost a professional. So grabbing this here paper clip. I'll straighten out a bit. I'll apply the super glue on first. Okay, I do not want that to bend. Uh, that's a bugger. It's gone on quite deep actually. Right, that might stay where it is. Just for the time being. And using my new snips here, I'll cut about here. And a small screwdriver. Should work. I reckon that will be tickly boo. So all I need to do is basically apply a, more, a bit more super glue on that, and then leave it alone for like 24 hours. Hopefully, with that paper clip, will create a nice bond. And actually I can see a few gaps there, so what I'll do, I'll get my trusty baking soda, and apply a bit more super glue. Something about the super glue and baking soda, which when they form together and set, it's basically like concrete. Well, not exactly concrete, but it is quite firm. And that's already set. Okay, so it's been 24 hours now, and I think I want to shape this wheel, or the axle here. So, I'm going to be using my Trojan Mini File Set. I'm 
And I'll start off with the round one. And basically, if you can just see this, I'll just... Right, I think that's good. That's got a good round shape to it. And hopefully when I put the like the strange free wheel on, it should be good. Okay, well, here goes nothing. I uh, hope this works, because I'm shitting bricks. Put this on here and see what happens. Wow, it's quite. Okay, it's not free-flying like the others, but this is on there. It is on there nonetheless. Probably could put it a bit more. This needs to fit in a bit more. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's see if I can get this wheel properly moving. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is make this roll bar at the back of this, at the back of the swamp masher, and I'll show you my other swamp masher. So as you can see, it's like a thicker, and then goes onto a thinner piece over here. Get my roller. The roll bar itself sits about, say, 45 mils. So I need to work out the length of this, which would be. Plus two forties, which is about one hundred and fifty mils. So, plus also the depth of that, which is might be guess another ten mils. What looks like. So make that one hundred and fifty, sixty, seventy, one hundred and seventy mils. So, I'm going to be using. Move this aside. Two stages on this. I'm going to use this thicker side uh, styrene tube and that is about 4.8 millimeter diameter so one of them coming out I'll cut that to length and then for the skinny part I'll run this over here for the skinny part here I always use this one and it is at 3.2 millimeters so just one of them out And then I just basically got to measure and cut, or 
PMAC. Okay, we'll be with me for a moment and I start getting some tools. Alright, so I'm using the skinniest styrene rod. I'm going to go back here where my finger is and then mark out 40 mils. So I want to be this short, so I want to mark it back here. So my ideal is to bend it into shape. Yeah, so if I bend that into shape, say across, and then I can work out the bent from there, and then basically put this thicker tube right in there and glue it into place. And then all I have to do is paint it. So I reckon that's chit chat and let's start getting some work done. Okay, so I'm gonna try a candle with this and see what what will work. And I just wanna work this tube enough that it bends the heat. I don't want to walk, I just want to be yeah, enough that it bends. It's getting there, it's getting pretty close. So I want to. It's getting real close. Yeah, that was pretty good. Cool. So all I'm gonna work out now. And it was seventy mils from that bend. Hope you can see that. So we move the, we move the candle aside. And, so I worked out 70 mils right there. I'll zoom in. Actually, probably better I just pick up the pick up the roller and show you. So okay. So being careful not to bend myself. So that's 70 mils that bend and we'll just repeat the same process Straighten that up. I could do this with a hair dryer. But I think it's more control like this. So we're taking shape now. Could have also tried it out with boiling water too. Okay, 
Okay, so I want to heat it a bit more. Okay, so I'm done with the candle here. So I'll just put that to one side. And measure that, which is sitting from 50, 50 mils on the top. Doesn't really matter if I go a little bit over. And you use my plastic snips. It's nice. Move it down a bit. It's pretty close. Pretty close. Okay, so what's this part here? The thicker part. So that's sitting. Alright, this thicker part here looks to me it's sitting at. 35 mils. So. I'll send it in for you fellas. And adjust this. So I want to send it at 35 mils. And give that a trim. And repeat the same process. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll sit this sliders on here, the sliders up here, I'll go past that, and most importantly, bring it back, bring the camera back a bit. A bit. That's not too bad. I mean, that's the real deal. And that's not too bad at all. I'm happy with that. Whoops, was up my couch wrong. I'm out by like two mils, so I'm gonna straighten that up now. Okay, so I've got the position for these bottom parts of the roll bar, how I want them. So what I'll do is I'll apply some super glue on them. I'll just put a drop. Up here. Let that settle. Now I don't want to glue this into the roll bar. I don't. Sorry, I don't want to glue the roll bar onto the swamp measure. 
So I want to paint that first. So hopefully it hasn't popped out. Which it hasn't. Which is good and I'll glue the other side. And then wait for that to dry and then paint it purple. Cool. Just gonna swap that down a bit more. Apply some more glue in there. Right, I'll just put that in my vise and let that set before I even think about painting it. Right, so I reckon once, while it's, while I'm waiting for it to dry, I must put a, a new control joist, joystick on this. So I'll just drill a hole in here. Okay, do a little super glue right on this. My trusty paper clip. And that's gonna be sitting up pretty high, which is what I probably want. So I want to cut about here. And that to me is good. So we didn't see that, I just chopped that about there. So what I'm going to use for the joystick is this is, this is basically a cotton ball clip tip and it's a plastic one so I'll get the glue on here and then and then with my plastic nips or maybe this That should be the right thickness. Apply a bit more super glue in there. And that should be the right thickness for any Joe to operate. Okay, so I'm gonna use this, which I use for the Swords of Orders green. And it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close to paint that handle. So it's, yeah, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close, and I'll be happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, put it to one side. And let's look at painting this roll bar. So the purple I'm going to be using is purple X16. And I'm hoping it's the right amount of purple. I may have to add a bit of black to it. Or blue. It's not too bad. Okay. 
I will say this also requires probably a couple of coats as well. Okay, I'm going to do this behind camera, and I'll see you guys soon. And at last, the G.I. Joe Swamp Masher is now complete. I quite like how the roll bars come out. It's not exactly perfect, but hey, for a repair job and with nothing there, it's good enough for me. The wheel is back on, and it rotates. Control stick is right there. Not as happy with the right colour, but hey, it's good enough for me. Considering I've got this rotted cheap, I'm away, I'm happy as. And as you can see, I've finally got all the wheels going. So yeah, I'm quite a I'm quite a happy camp about this. And as you can see, I put Mustrack in. He's basically the perfect person to operate the swap masher. And he just put his rifle and his machete in there. And I'll rotate this. You can see that slot in here. That's perfect for his boogie board. Yeah, I already think that Mustrack is super chuffed now that he's got his Swamp Masher back. Mustrack and the Swamp Masher go hand in hand. Hey, hey guys, thank you very much for sticking around and watching the rest of this video. It, mean, it really means a lot to me. I'm actually quite glad that the Swamp Masher is now back in action, and so is Mustrack. Just when I'm doing this roll bar, that was quite a simple job. I couldn't believe how simple it was. It was a bit I care, I mean, but, you know, ancient, I guess, me using the flame to bend this. I could have used the heat gun, and maybe next time I will, but, you know, the candle was a lot quieter, and I was able to control it really well. This wheel is mean now that I can actually rotate it. So... And the control panel too, the control stick, that is probably one of the most easiest ones to do too. So that's just basically me showing you guys what you guys can possibly do. Don't throw out those old toys. Give it a shot. I'm showing you the tools on how to repair certain vehicles, certain ways. I'm doing it all on a budget that anybody can do. And please, of course, hit that notification bell. It's not really a bell. It's just a stick I put on. That's the good old fashioned Kiwi ingenuity. And please like, share and subscribe.
and leave a comment. I really love to hear from you guys, man. It really makes a world to me. And hey, if you do subscribe and you leave a comment saying that you have subscribed, I will personally get back to you. It's the least that I can do. So with that, people, it's time for me to say goodbye. And it's your Joe. Thank you so much, people. See ya.